got basically like a pre-launch here between now and July 4th. On July 4th will be like an official soft launch um, where we will be publishing a lot of uh, documents um, to the community that the community has been waiting for. Obviously, the same documents you need are the same documents that all the exchanges need, right? That everybody's need. And, 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 and there's a reason why a lot of this hasn't been shared. Um, we had to wait for Switch. Um, Switch is the first project of its kind. It's taken 18 months to complete. Um, it took the, I mean, I'm sure everybody knows the founder of Discover Card, Kathy, is involved with, she's our brand president of Switch. Um, she is one of a group of individuals credited with, in, with inventing the whole concept of rewards from credit cards, which is really what we're doing here on the blockchain. And um, uh, that project took a long time um, to have a self-custody, right? The, the, the thing that's so amazing about Switch is that it's basically like a physical and virtual wallet where you have the custody. So it's one of the first blockchain banks around the world and exchanges where the users actually are in control of their pass keys and they have self custody like Coinbase. We don't own our pass keys. And so if you're on Twitter, you know, like one of the big expressions on Twitter is not your keys, not your crypto. And that's true. And what, what a lot of us believe that have been in blockchain for a long time is that there's potentially um, a lot of projects that will be shut down in certain countries over the next few years. There's a lot of exchanges that might be shut down. And so like people being able to have and store their crypto in a way that's easy to use and access and they control their pass keys. This is really, this is really important. Um, some people like Coinbase or Binance because they don't have to memorize their pass keys. And while that's easy and convenient, it's not safe. It's not, it's not, it's not in control. And obviously if we're successful and some of you have tens of millions of green, I, I've been meeting people over the last week that have a hundred million green. What happens when that's a hundred million dollars at some point in time in the future, you're not going to want to give that control over to another entity. And so we want to teach people in this community how to responsibly hold and manage their crypto. And in order to do that, um, the founders of the community had to create resources that could enable uh, the community to do that. And one of them is the Switch Credit Card.